I just want to spend a few minutes talking about some tips on painting HO scale uh, figures, unpainted figures that you can paint and populate your dioramas or your, your layout with. Uh, even on a modest size layout like my Jersey Highlands Railroad, uh, it would be very expensive to populate it with pre-painted figures. And so early on, <clears throat> I started buying packs of either model power uh, unpainted figures, and here's a pack of 72 of them. And you see that they come blister packed, uh, just assorted figures that they also sell pre-painted, but they're a lot cheaper, especially if you shop the sales at Walters. Uh, here's another package, 72 model power. These are all road and rail workers. Um, you can get an idea of the assortment there. And besides model power, of course, there's the Pricer figures. Uh, here's a package of 120 uh, assorted uh, passengers and passerbys. And uh, there's many different sets from Pricer as well. Here's another one that is uh, uh, just unpainted uh, uh, tradesmen and workers. Um, and there's quite an assortment in there, and again, that's uh, 120 of those. And they're very inexpensive when you buy them that way. Looking for ways to hold the little figures, I've tried a number of things. I have drilled holes in their feet and up their legs and, and put piano wire up there and then stuck it into uh, the end of a dowel uh, and so forth. But I find it's just as easy and a lot less work to mount them on a tongue depressor using a little piece of tape and I think you can see I have it here in the middle of the tongue depressor and I've tried different double-sided tapes and the one that has just the right amount of aggressiveness to hold the figure sturdy and upright by its little HO scale feet is this photo mounting tape, double-sided tape by Pioneer. And as I say, I've tried a bunch of different double-sided tapes, and this I find to be just the right amount of uh, tackiness to hold it up. I'll show you here a second. Here's a little young lady that's about half painted at this point. We've got very tiny HO scale feet. And putting her onto tongue depressor right on that double-sided tape. You can see she's pretty sturdy and I find that when I start painting her the paint the pressure of the paintbrush does not tip her over um, and so what I tend to do then is open up a blister pack and start setting up figures. Here I have just little Miss Mary sitting in the middle of the tongue depressor by herself but more normally I will put a strip of tape on and mount uh, three, two, three, four figures, depending on how complex they are, uh, on a tongue depressor. And uh, before I do that, I, as I take them out, they're usually in pretty good shape right out of the mold, but every once in a while I find a little bit of flash on them. And so you spend a few minutes cleaning them up, either with a uh, small file or a number 11 blade, and get any flash off of it, then stick them by their feet onto the tongue depressor. And then I start by opening up uh, a bottle of whatever I'm going to use for the flesh color. And I paint all their faces, all their exposed hands, arms, legs, whatever is flesh. I paint that first and let it dry. And then I go about opening another color. In this case, I have a uh, polyscale B&M blue bottle opened up and stirred. Uh, and by the way, when it comes to stirring these things, if you haven't got yourself uh, one of these little battery power Badger airbrush uh, mixers. It really is a fantastic investment and uh, in, in a few seconds really stirs up a, a bottle of paint no matter how uh, long it's been standing there. So I'll open up a color like the blue and then I'll take my figures and I'll, I'll paint a pair of pants here, uh, a jacket there, a hat over there, and uh, when I think I've 
done enough with the blue, I take out the next color and I'll do the same thing. I, you know, I'll paint uh, the shoes, a hat here, uh, whatever, and you start getting figures in various stages of, of completion. And here I have a figure who's working on uh, troweling something down here on the uh, kneel down position, who's got uh, his hair is painted, his flesh is painted, his shoes and pants are painted, um, his trowel is painted, everything's painted right now except for his shirt, so he'll be done whenever I open up the color I want for his shirt. This uh, young man over here has everything but his overalls done, and so forth. So I have some in various stages of completion as you look around. Here's one that the only thing painted so far is his hat and his flesh. Uh, if you have figures that have open jackets that have shirts underneath, paint those light colors like the shirt first, let it dry, because if you go over and, and touch on the jacket, it's going to be covered up by the darker color of the jacket. And keeping it steady, that's where the tongue depressor comes in. Look, none of us have absolutely steady hands. Um, and it really helps that you can take this. She's already being held steady on the tape. You can put one end against the table, hold the other hand in your end, in your uh, hand, and then you can paint her by keeping your hand steady on the table as well. Of course, another key to the whole thing is having a variety of uh, fine brushes. And uh, in that case, you know, what you do is you go to your local craft store, Michael's, uh, Joann's, uh, Hobby Lobby, whoever sells it, and when they're on sale or with your discount coupon, just start picking up a variety of pointed, uh, very fine brushes, and uh, those are your best friends. And just wash them well, and they last for almost forever anyway. And so when I don't dip my brushes directly into the, uh, the bottle either, uh, what I do, and I think you can see the bottle here in the background, is I take a... Uh, stirring stick, in this case it's it's part of a bamboo skewer, and I'll dip that in and just take it out and dip my brush in, get a little bit on the brush, and then you can come in and start painting, in this case, her dress. My wife assures me that blue is a good color to go with the red pocketbook and red shoes. And if your eyesight is like mine at uh, age 69, uh, besides my trifocals, I have a pair of clip-on uh, magnifiers. These are five power. And I just put those over my glasses and I get a much better, much better view of what I am painting here. And you can see that she's being held very steady by the tape. And you just paint her. And that's all there is to it. Okay. And of course I still have to paint her back and so forth, but I find, you know, in a couple of uh, afternoons, I'll spend an hour here, an hour there, and pretty soon I have uh, 25 figures done. I started with uh, uh, 25, 26 figures a couple days ago. Here's the ones that are already complete. Have them on some uh, masking tape turns upside down, and they're as nicely painted as anything that you get out of the uh, out of the store. So that's it. Hope that proves helpful.